All right, y'all. Shit is going down in Hollywood, and I'm here to tell you all about it right now. Okay, so it is about 1.30 in the morning, Sunday night slash Monday morning. I'm making this video so I can get it out immediately because this is kind of mind-blowing, but also it's really kind of important with society the way it is right now with who can say what and, and how everyone reacts to it, right? So this is going to be kind of quick. I need to get to bed. My daughter's going to wake up first thing in the morning and I'm going to be exhausted, but I have to talk about Kang the Conqueror. Okay, so TMZ reported out uh, yesterday that Jonathan Majors, who plays Kang the Conqueror in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, he played... Uh, Michael B. Jordan's opponent in, in the Creed 3 movie. He was in HBO's Lovecraft Country. I mean, this dude is, at this point, as major A-list Hollywood star as you can get. Uh, and he's good. Like, I, I think the dude is amazing. So when I saw this, that he had been arrested in New York City for assaulting a woman, I was just, I mean, I immediately go, why? Why would this happen? Why do you do this? I do not understand dudes making tens, if not hundreds of millions of dollars. And maybe he's not at the at the upper point of that. Maybe he's still just getting a couple million dollars for the roles that he is, is in. But ultimately, he's rich as hell. He can do whatever he wants in life. Why are you going to put your hands on a woman? I don't. I don't understand. But... The news came out, and here, here's, here's what basically happened. He's arrested in New York this weekend, and according to police, he was accused of putting his hands on a woman, but his legal team is saying it's a lie. Uh, law enforcement booked him on charges Saturday morning, and they said that he strangled her, he assaulted her, and he harassed her, uh, which I think is interesting that they put it in that order. Because it went from the most severe to the like, eh, you know, <laughs> like harassment is like, hey, hey, girl, what's up? You know, and strangulation is, I'm going to kill you. So I, I think it probably should have went, he's charged with harassment, assault, and strangulation just to really emphasize what he did. Um, apparently there was a 911 call and they showed up. So that's that's that story. Now, there was an update to it. They kind of went more into detail. Uh, apparently, this woman is supposed to be his girlfriend. And according to the story, they were in a taxi cab. He was apparently texting on his phone to a woman. She got mad at him, and then he put his hands on her. Um, the judge has re released him uh, without bail. And then this is the statement that his team put out. They said uh, that, and, I, and I'm reading this, I'm sorry, there's a lot, I can't memorize all this stuff. Jonathan Majors is completely innocent and is provably the victim of an altercation with a woman he knows. Okay, so is she not his girlfriend? That's, that's it, now it's already uh, conflicting information, right? Uh, we are quickly gathering and presenting evidence to the district attorney with the expectation that all charges will be dropped immediately. Very confident. Let's hear where this goes. This evidence includes video footage from the vehicle. Okay, see immediately when you hear the story, you're like, okay, was it a cab or was it an Uber? Because a lot of these Uber drivers have the, have the cameras in there so that they can uh, uh, social network shame bad passengers. They're like, look, this person uh, threw up in my car. Look at them, they're bad. Uh, this person hit me in the back of the head. Look at them, they're bad. Uh, but I guess now taxi cabs have gotten in on it too, and they're like, look, this person tried to rob me. They're bad. So there's always video evidence. Uh, and they said there's also witness testimony from the driver and others who saw and heard the episode. Now... That I wouldn't be so keen to believe. You know, he's he's working for Disney now. Uh, you know, they got deep pockets, so they could just call up that cab driver and be like, "Hey, 
nothing happened. And the cab driver's going to be like, yeah, nothing happened. Of course not. Uh, thanks for the, thanks for the new life. Um, and then also, I guess, uh, most importantly, there's two written statements from the woman recanting the allegations. Now, again, that could just be, uh, Disney going up to her and being like, Hey, uh, if you ever want to see the sunrise again, drop these allegations. And also here's a couple million dollars. But again, there's video evidence of it, which I think is like the most important part. Like they're saying most importantly is her recanting it. Uh, I think more importantly is you have video evidence of it. So they're basically saying that all of this says that he's entirely innocent, did not ins uh, assault her. Uh, but, and this is, <laughs> I think they should have left this part out. They said that the incident came about because she was having an emotional crisis. You can't do that. You cannot say women are being emotional. They might as well have just said, uh, the woman that he was with, she was on her period and she overreacted. Like that's, <laughs> you can't say that she was having an emotion. Now people are automatically going to be like, oh, this is insensitive. You can't do it. Uh, they say that the NYPD is required to make arrests when they get 911 calls like this. And that's the only reason that he was arrested. That I do know is true. So I can absolutely, this is our problem in America. You know, in France, if you get arrested for something, the press cannot report about it until you're found guilty. In America, the moment it happens, it is free to put in any publication and your life is ruined because of allegations. Now, this is where I'm going to get in trouble. A couple years ago, the, the whole trend came out, believe all women. Uh, I don't. And I know that's a counselable cancelable uh you can cancel me because i said that but guess what my career was already derailed two years ago of no fault of my own uh i did some stuff on television it got canned and then it was basically like hey you're not what we want so you can't cancel me so i can say whatever i believe and what i believe is that you shouldn't believe all women okay i've had women lie about me. I've had women lie to me. I had a woman lie to me and tell me that she was pregnant for 11 months. Okay. Now, true. Part of that was my fault. Okay. Around month 10, I should have really started to question things. I let it go on too long. But the truth is women get mad and lie. Men get mad and put their hands on people. Everybody does some messed up stuff. But we do not give people the chance to prove their innocence. With Twitter, with Instagram, all these things get posted immediately saying, damn this person. They are the worst because of an allegation. People, directors came out, and I don't even remember the, the person's name that was saying it, but it was this person who's directed like two movies. And he was like, Jonathan Majors is hell to work with. He's always been a bully. He's just a really bad person. I'm surprised it's taken this long for something to come out. Well, this person is like a no-name director who's never really done anything. And probably Jonathan Majors had an attitude on his set because he's a bigger name than... That, that didn't want to deal with it or or what or maybe Jonathan Majors is an asshole but maybe he didn't put his hands on somebody I just think that it's 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 crazy that someone can say this person did something to me and then without any evidence or or proof which I think those are actually the, the same thing now that I say it out loud but it ruins a person's life. People were immediately posting online. Uh, they're about to recast Kane the Conqueror. Uh, this guy's career is over. When it could absolutely be a woman who got mad at him and lied. Uh, I, I'm very interested to see how this comes out. I want to see the video evidence, right? Like, let's see what really happened. Like this. This is video evidence that I say messed up things about whether or not you should believe women. Uh, this is probably gonna really hurt me, 
But hopefully the video evidence of Jonathan Majors uh, helps him because honestly, I'm a big fan. I don't want to think or know that he's a, a, a terrible person that would uh, hurt a woman. Um, and, you know, if, if he is, he's got to go. Uh, hopefully they don't, that doesn't mess up the storyline in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Look, they, they replaced uh, Terrence Howard with Don Cheadle. I'm sure we can find someone to replace John. They didn't even try to make uh, the character uh, Ro Rhodey Rhodes uh, fucking uh, war machine look the same. They just were like, okay, here's another actor. Let's move on. They did the same thing with the Hulk. They had Edward Norton play him, and then they were like, ah, he's difficult to work with. Let's put Mark Ruffalo in there. So, and now they have the, the, the multiverse. They can just explain that it's a different version of Kang or, or, or whatever. But I hope this dude comes out clean. Uh, keep watching my channel. Subscribe. Comment below. Tell me that you think I'm a piece of crap for not believing all women. Or tell me that you agree with me and you think that there should be some kind of due process. Because sometimes people lie to try and hurt people or to try and extort them for money. And, and uh, I mean, that's pretty much what you extort people for is money. So anyway, uh, we'll have another uh, full episode coming out soon. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you later.